Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator. I'm using 221 and it can only work in 221 because I'm going to be using the repeat feature. Repeat feature in 2021, you can find it here, object and repeat. Now, this design was created earlier in an earlier video, so please check that video out. It's using transforms that create nice, see, circles going outwards. Now, it could be a circle, it could be a square, it could be anything. So let's just go, go to repeat and radial. So there it is straight away. Now I'm going to quickly go to navigator so you can actually see it. Makes it easier to actually be able to see it. And you can see the design. Now what you can do, you can modify the radius. You can go up here and you can just simply move that around. And you can see it can overlap in numerous ways. And great, just really lovely designs here in the centre. Not always. Sometimes the clashes just don't look great. But you can create some very nice radial designs there. And of course you could use clipping just to clip out and get rid of all these other circles outside if you want. Also what you can do, you can change the number of instances. You can actually make it very extreme. That central part again, you can zoom in and just see it like there. But also what you can do, you can edit it. You can still edit this repeat. You can double click and edit the instance. So double click in there and you can see the design there. You can still modify that so you can resize it. And you can create all kinds of, let's just again, let's just, and you can see, move that around, resize that, rotate it, all those sorts of things. You can just create all kinds of different designs simply inside this radial repeat object. You can also change the thing as well. So suddenly you decide, let's say, go to appearance. You can see now the appearance, this circle is made up of a transform. That's basically it, a stroke. So transform, click there. And let's just say, you know what, I can change that. Maybe make it 120. 120. And also, you know, I don't want that many. Now sometimes, and I've actually had done this a few times in this, so click there, nothing changes. I think there's a bug there, actually. Because definitely a clicked OK. Transform. So it's still 20. I think that's something weird. However, it does work. <laughs> so 120. 120. And then, you know, there it, it changes that time. I think there's a slight error there. I don't know what, or maybe it's just a memory issue. I don't know. And you can see the design there. And again, you can still edit that design. So you can still modify it. You can still go to, actually you go over here to the direct selection tool and select there. And you can select that point and then you can change that point as well. So you can create all kinds of sort of weird and wonderful designs simply by doing that. Now, I'm not going to do that, but I just wanted to point out that you can change those. I'm just going to go back to that original design there. Another thing you can do, you can go to this appearance while you're still in this appearance panel here. What you can do, you can add additional strokes. So you don't have to keep the single stroke. You can actually go over here and you can go to add new stroke or duplicate item. But add new stroke. And that's on top of the existing stroke. So what you can do, just go to the one below, and I'm just going to make that, say, 10. So it's obviously a bit thicker. You can just see now. What you can also do, you can turn around and say, oh, I want that to be red, say, instead. So you can now see you've got this lovely red line with the black. Now, this is all strokes. It's all strokes, which you can then, of course, also with a stroke, you can just quickly click there. And you know what? I go for a profile. So you can change the profile as well. Now, sometimes the result is not so great. Depending on the size, of course, the rest can change these things. You can just quickly go to make it at 1.5, and that will still be 10. And you can add strokes to that one. You can also, if you want, click there, and you've got dashed lines. You can add dashed lines. So you can create sort of unusual dashed line design as well. Maybe not that one particularly, but you can do that. What you can also still do, you can still edit this design. So you still can see, so you can modify it, and you can see all those lines clashing in there. But you can also still go over here and decide, you know what, I'm going to go with, not, I'm going to add another one, another stroke. So duplicate that stroke. And I'm going to go with that one to be, say, five. And I can change colour. So maybe go with blue. And you can see you can create other designs from that. And black, maybe decide, you know what, I'm going to go for 16, make it even darker. And again, you can still live, still edit this design as well. And you can expand that out all over the place, create all kinds of weird and wonderful things. Now, once you've done that, I'm going to come out now. So I'm just going to finish that, that point. 
okay the design is not great however what you can also do of course you can select this design you can also create another circle and I'm going to just quickly create that select both so both selected then you can go to object and clipping mask and you can make so you've got this lovely design now of course what happens is that's still live so if you still move that around you can see that will so if you want to you can expand now I'm not going to do that I just want to keep that perfectly reasonable and also you can hold down the alter option key and duplicate that design to create all kinds of very unusual designs that way however what I want to do is show that you can also do it with let's just go all the way back I could use now what you can also you can do save as a style now you hopefully you've saved it to start in the early video but if you haven't all you need to do with this design selected there you can go to over here to new graphic style so it's just saved as a new graphic style and then what you can do you remove that and then you can go over here and maybe select rectangle so rectangle tool and I'll just just put that out the other way I'd like to have it like that for repeat nope put it up like that also just simply click over here and you've got that design there and you can of course expand that out and of course what you can still do you can still go to object and repeat and radial and then you've got this design here now I'm gonna have to use navigator because you can't see it and you can see the design there let's just resize that a bit also of course you can change the number of instances sometimes with squares and things it sometimes works best with just like four I must admit with so you can then rotate that around and you can see the design there sometimes when you get six or ten when it comes with squares it doesn't look so good now what you can do you can let's say you can if you want to change that but I'm just going to quickly double click into there and again you can still edit that design you can see then you can create some interesting sort of four little zoom out like that and you can of course rotate the design let's just rotate the design maybe resize it that way and so on so on so you can create all kinds of really now if you can just about make out and it's very very tiny the rounding feature there's a rounding feature when you use a rectangle there's a rounding so if I zoom in and just make it out there there's a little round you can also change that so you can see that will change as well just create some nice sort of designs there and still you can go to appearance and you've still got the thing you can just select that and you've got stroke click there and you've got profile so you can still maybe select profile if it lets you do it yeah there's the profile so you can create that design and that can be of course again rotated and modified in numerous ways and you can now you've got that design I think that looks quite nice so come out of that oops come and save it now with that design of course you can also save that go with a clipping mask say maybe go over here with a square strange enough since it is a square design simply select over there select all of that and then select both then go to object and clipping mask and make so you've got your design reduced down to a square like that and of course you can rotate it still and it's still of course is live you can still see it chain trying to change and it's changing and of course what you can also do you can hold down the alter option key and create even more clashing designs if you want to do that make it very sort of and of course you can always still change colors etc so I'm just going to remove that don't want that now and that's it hope you found this tutorial of interest always adding new tutorials about illustrator photoshop finity photo finity designer and many other applications as well also if you've got any questions comments please let me know and always great to uh, read some things and hopefully of course i can actually give some answers sometimes because sometimes people ask me things and i think i don't know simple answer I don't, that's however a dislike or like thank you much